The iBuji is a 70 cm long 14 French introducer with a rounded and angled distal tip to facilitate orotracheal intubation in patients where visualization of the glottis is inadequate. The material allows shaping of the iBuji according to the shape of the laryngoscope blade. The iBuji comes with two types of oxygen connectors to allow oxygen flow through the lateral openings at the distal tip. Preload the tracheal tube over the iBuji and hold the iBuji together with the tip of the tube at the 25 cm marking. Via laryngoscopy, insert the iBuji from the side of the mouth with the angled tip first. For a clear orientation, make sure that the centimeter markings face up, which provides better control of the angled tip in the vertical plane. If the glottis is visible, advance the iBuji through the vocal cords into the trachea between 2 and 3 centimeters. After successful tracheal placement, maintain position of the iBuji and railroad the tube into the trachea. Maintain visualization of the glottis with a laryngoscope to ensure correct placement of the tube into the trachea. Hold the tube in position and then remove the laryngoscope before finally removing the iBuji. Check for correct positioning of the tube by common procedures. If visualization of the glottis is inadequate, as for example Cormac and Lahane grade 3, preform the iBuji to the desired shape and advance it along the base of the tongue under the epiglottis. Confirmation is then non-visual by feeling the tip of the buji click as it passes along the tracheal rings. If a holdup is felt at the 30 to 35 centimeter marking, then the tip of the iBuji reached the carina. Attention! In order to prevent airway trauma, never advance the iBuji beyond the carina. In this case, withdraw the iBuji to the 25 centimeter marking. When there is no holdup of the iBuji at the 30 to 35 centimeter marking, the iBuji was placed likely into the esophagus. In this case, remove the iBuji and reinsert it. If the tube does not advance over the iBuji, the bevel tip of the tube may have gotten caught in the arytenoids. In this case, pull back the tube about 2 cm and use a 90-degree anti-clockwise rotation to advance the tube through the vocal cords.